what we see so far is that uh, compared to last year, uh, GDP growth for 2020 is probably going to be off three or four tenths of a percent um, based on our, you know, I guess you would call it the best case scenario for the coronavirus. Um, but what's, what's problematic is right now, uh, as of this date, we're starting to see the exponential community spread model take place. Um, and, you know, that's something we haven't seen in, except for the last, I'd say, two, two or three days where we started to see the number of new cases each day ramp up considerably. Um, it's not unlike what happened in China, not unlike what happened in South Korea. Uh, the experiences in those two countries is quite a bit different. The Chinese uh, wound up with so close to 80,000 cases. Uh, the Koreans, not, as, not nearly as many. Um, but in both of those scenarios, uh, they peaked and they're on their way back down again. In fact, in South Korea uh, today, uh, fewer new cases were reported there than were reported today in the United States. Um, so their experience has been about a three-week cycle uh, when they first started to see community spread ramp up. If we experience a similar three or four-week cycle uh, of this virus, my suspicion is that uh, the impact on GDP is probably going to be three to four tenths of a percent, maybe as high as half, but certainly not any more than that won't spin us into a recession. The problem is, when you look at the experiences in China and in South Korea, um, their uh, government industry responses have been much stronger than where we are right now in terms of isolation, quarantines, re uh, c stopping events, et cetera. Um, you know, we're still, we're still going like nothing's happening. So uh, it depends on how quickly we ramp up as to whether or not we can have the same kind of experience that they had in those two countries or whether we wind up with something more like Italy where this thing is sort of spiraling out of control. I'm looking to see what happens with the coronavirus because that's the big 800-pound gorilla in the room right now. Um, that's going to have a lot to do. As I said earlier, if we see a situation where we kind of track what happened in South Korea, and this thing all lasts three weeks to a month, um, I expect that we'll be back on that train uh, um, by May, and things will be fine. Um, and, may even, and may even be more positive than we are now per currently forecasting for the second half of the year. However, if we don't get out ahead of this in a, from a public health standpoint, um, you know, things could be pretty, pretty dire by the time we roll around here three months from now. It all depends.